Lifetime released their salt and pepper biopic mm-hmm. over the weekend. Carla, do you do y'all say biopic or biopic? I say biopic. You say biopic? Yeah. Oh, what? That's so cute. Because I was like, because it makes me Why, wonder if I'm say? saying it wrong or if I'm saying it right. Because I say biopic. You know what? Now that I think about it, biopic sound real hood. Like, girl, did you see the biopic? <laughs> I don't know if it's grammatically correct. Aren't they both grammatically correct? I don't know, but I just don't. Oh. I just say. <laughs> did you so see? Be like, did you Bio see the? Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. So the the bi- biopic, the biopic, bi- <laughs> biopic. I'm gonna work on that, Carla. But anyway, so the Salt and Pepper biopic. Mm. It's gonna be a biopic for now, friend. Yeah, you are. Um, it premiered on Saturday night. Now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Salt and pepper. I remember my days of getting in trouble because my grandma caught me trying to oh, yeah. the, the push it routine. I Girl, remember getting in trouble. Us. Yes. <laughs> mm. I remember wanting that jacket. I remember wanting the haircut. I did eventually get the asymmetrical haircut, but I didn't oh, did shave. You? Yeah, I didn't okay. shave on the side, but I got the asymmetrical. Um, so I am one of them girls who grew up loving salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. It wasn't until I became an adult and then started looking at salt and pepper through an adult lens that things got murky uh, yeah real murky right real murky right <laughs> so as a young influential young lady from jersey south jersey you know i wanted to express yourself yes. you gotta be that's here. one of my favorite yes Baby. okay so y'all with me y'all with me oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> listen it's so funny because if you read some of my blog posts i literally start some of my blog posts with oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> now y'all gonna be like oh Oh my gosh there it is but anyway so this biopic comes on and i'm not really crazy about salt and pepper like i used to be as an adult mainly because number one pepper ah. um yeah so pepper being number one um pepper by the way has has me blocked on social media as well hey pep yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right up Woo! Yeah, Peppa got me blocked on social media as well. Um, I'm not sure if she blocked me when I wrote about their debacle with Spinderella or if she blocked me when I wrote about her messing with the married man. I'm not sure which one. Yeah. Either way, I'm blocked. Either way, I'm blocked. So um, anyway... So Spinderella, before the biopic came out, Spinderella released a statement because, of course, y'all know they fired Spinderella. Mm -hmm. And then Spinderella, in turn, sued them for money that unpaid money that she was owed. So ain't no more salt and pepper in Spinderella. It's just salt and pepper. So anyway, they did this biopic. And um, Spinderella was like, I'm not supporting it because, you know, the same women that was like, express yourself, you got to be moving on to you, babe. Um, You know, the same women. Now they are basically oppressing Spinderella, I guess, in in her words, not mine, Mm -hmm. by not including her vision, her voice, her whatever, her process of whatever in this biopic. And when you, I watched the biopic under protest. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to say I did watch the biopic. Okay. I watched under protest because my <laughs> business partner told me I was supposed to watch because I'm an entertainer. I watched under protest. I watched like this. I watched the way Keisha Cole looked when she got to the versus battle. <laughs> uh, I actually, I was posted up like Bernie Sanders. I was like, my mittens. You're dumb. That's what you, you be sitting there, your eyes be closed. Like, I'm facing it, but I ain't looking at it, though. <laughs> like, I ain't looking at it. My eyes closed, but I'm not asleep. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm watching mm-hmm. under protest because you know I was trying to stand with Spinderella, and um, y'all, with all due respect, had I not seen Salt and Pepper say out of their mouths that they had a hand in this biopic. Mm-hmm. I would have thought it was a straight up parody. Really? Wow. There just there was no way that I could fathom that they actually had a hand in this for it to be so terrible. First of all, they cast a chunky brown man as Martin. LL oh, Cool wow. J looked like the casting Ben influence who does our theme song for mm-hmm. the podcast said I am convinced Stevie Wonder did the casting. <laughs> the casting was absolutely horrid. Absolutely horrible. Um, so it was just one of those things where it was like, I saw it. 
Mm-hmm. I wouldn't dare tell, but I saw some people who said they absolutely loved it. Um, I saw some people who were like, yes, you know, but I gathered, I think it's 25 mm-hmm. totally accurate tweets that wow. <laughs> about that salt and pepper <laughs> biopic that you need to go read at icecreamcombos.com. It, ve- it very much sums up the entire biopic for me. So, um, yeah. Why are so many bad? Then, like, now I'm sitting here thinking we just had this conversation. I, I think I can count on like one hand the, the good biopics that we've seen. Mm-hmm. At the top of the line, what's number one? Call it. I'm I think you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, you are putting me on the spot because I'm trying to think number one. Yeah. I'll, New edition. It. Ah, okay. Yeah. New yeah. edition. New yeah. edition number one. Yeah. Um, yeah, what? new edition is the best. What would be. I'm gonna just leave it at new edition because yeah. what's another what's another good one? Mm. That's it's all, the fact that we're sitting here trying to pull. <laughs> oh, the Clark sisters, the Clark oh, sisters. Yeah, Sarah yeah, came. Yeah. The Clark sisters. Yeah. Oh, hey, okay. So I know I feel like, like I'm disrespecting. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, li- thank you. Giselle brought up a great point. Mm-hmm. The sex scene. They had a scene where Peppa and Tretch. I guess they're apparently on a date, and. Mm-hmm. Peppa goes and stands on this ledge. She falls off of the ledge. She's like, oh, you think you handle my crazy? And Pe- uh-huh. and, and Tretch is like, yeah, I can handle your crazy. So then Peppa throws herself off this it, embankment, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and then lands in the bed. Tretch hop up on her and start getting to digging in the skins. I said, oh my who God. put this together? Wow, are you scared? Yeah. That's when you start yelling at people who are not there. Who <laughs> is responsible for this? It, it, wow. Nuts. Yeah. It was nuts, yeah. but listen. Oh my you God, know, it's not <laughs> I, that's, that's one of those things. It felt like, you know, a lot of people want to be immortalized in some way shape or form especially with biopics you know remember when every everything was hot everything was a biopic everybody yeah. got a biopic everybody want a biopic and i guess they just wanted one so bad yeah tlc was decent yeah <laughs> you yeah, did I not have to play me like, like that he was like <laughs> mm, yeah. it was decent I, I take that no 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 it was the it was it was it was okay it, was it wasn't decent. one of the or it was it was on the better end of things than uh the rest of them but, but it, the, the thing is i think if it was done well it, it's mm-hmm. not a bad idea so in my in my eye salt and pepper is hip-hop legends like mm-hmm. why wouldn't you do a biopic on them yeah and i mean they broke so many barriers and records yeah carla i'm ashamed we forgot the temptations oh because it's been mm. that's because we were thinking of like now mm, the temptations ain't nobody come to see you otis <laughs> Um, it's so funny. Speaking of that, that catchphrase, right? Mm-hmm. There was a meme and I shared it and it was a joke. It was, it was it was cute. It was like two people sitting at a little thing, a majig or whatever. And they had one with Otis and then one with, uh, what's the guy's name? David, uh, David Ruffin. Okay. And it had a line of people. And all the lines was at David Ruffin. So mm-hmm. it was like, ain't nobody come see you, Otis. Get it. <laughs> and this one lady okay. got so in her feelings. Apparently, she either went to high school with Otis or she done slept with oh, Otis. Hit somebody. Or something. But she came in and told me I was trash. I was an idiot. I was an imbecile. This this site is just so trash. And all. Uh, girl, oh I started saying, ain't nobody come to see your comment. <laughs> That's what you should have hit her with. That's exactly what you should have hit her with. <laughs> That would have been the best. That, that right oh. there. Yeah, oh, my saying. goodness. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Oh. oh, William going hard to pay. He said TLC was trash, too. Yeah, it, mm. it was Temptations was the best. Yeah, Temptations is one. Mm. The new edition. Blue, come from behind that tree. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> they got blue in the chair. Yeah. Mm. That was, that was, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, these comments going so fast, I can't even keep up. But was I'm so. Was the Jacksons considered a biopic? Who? The American Dream. Oh, the, the Jacksons. Yes, yeah. that was. All right, so yeah, that was decent. Yeah. Oh, Bobby Brown was good too. Yeah, but he ain't had yeah. to let everybody know he I smashed. Know. He smashed no. and passed Janet <laughs> Jackson like that. <laughs> Janet Jackson like, let's wait a while. <laughs> Bobby was like, mm mm. Oh He's wow! Like, Come on, Tenderoni. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so um, shout out to everyone um who did or did not watch the Salt and Pepper biopic, and um, just 
Real quick, shout out to everyone who still calls that group salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah. Because see, the night me and, me and Carla, we salt and paprika. <laughs> we salt Girl, and paprika. Yeah, somebody is still saying pepper. You are so right about that. Lonnie Love hosted a after, like after the biopic, mm-hmm. like an afterwards special. Mm-hmm. She was calling them salt and pepper to their face. I said, can somebody please tell Lonnie Love to stop calling these women salt and pepper? Get her to get her mind right. Yes. <laughs> Just call them garlic, salt, and onion powder. Good Lord. (laughs) 